The power of love, that's what God has been teaching me over the past couple of days. In fact, we've always thought about love, love between parents and children, love between spouses, or even love in a relationship. We can sense when we are not loved, and we can understand when it's a fake love, a matlabi love. But over and above that, we have not really seen or realized the impact love has on each one of our hearts. Most of us live in a world where love is so corrupt or so demanding. And more we think about it, the more we are involved in it, people tend to only grab more and more out of us. And we feel like we are only giving and not receiving much. In this past couple of weeks, God has been showing me the impact and power of love. More love, it means more security. It means we understand our identity in a powerful way. We realize our worth even more and our purpose for living becomes deeper and stronger. First Corinthians 13, 13 tells us, that even though there's faith, there's hope, there's love, the greatest of it is love. And this is so, so true. First John 4, 18 tells us that perfect love expels all fear. The fear of the uncertainty of life, the fear of facing life, the fear of checking and understanding who we are, our problem is most of us go by what people say about us. This morning, help me to place before you two important principles to keep in mind if you and I need to thrive in love. The first one is accept what God says about you. Do you know, your creator loves you. He created you in the palm of his hand. He knows you by name. He calls you by name. Even the hair on your head is numbered by him. So deep, so genuine, so precious is his love for you. And so when he says something about you, accept it, receive it. Say, yes, if that's what my creator says about me, I receive it. John 3, 16 tells us so beautifully, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. That's the extent of sacrifice God is willing to make for you and me. Can you and I accept this love, the true love that God has for you? Secondly, to remain in this love is for you and I to practice the principle of forgiveness. The more you forgive and release people, accept at what they can give you, so much if they can give you, Receive it graciously. Don't demand for more. Maybe you're upset that your spouse has not been able to love you the way you thought he or she would love you. Maybe you're upset your parents have not been able to love you the way they claim to love you. Or in the relationship you are, you're frustrated because you thought that that person would be the ideal person who would love you. But it's a big mess. My friend, it's a reality check. People are people. Their love is always way off the mark that you and I demand for. It's insufficient. The only love that is true and pure is our Savior's love for us. So let me challenge you this morning. Receive this love. Soak in it. Bask in it. Be secured in it. Find your identity in it. Find your worth in it. Find your purpose for life in your Creator's love. God bless you.